Over a third of postmenopausal breast cancer patients who take aromatase inhibitors abandon their treatment because the drug's side effects are so unbearable, according to researchers from Northwestern University. Aromatase inhibitors are typically given to patients following chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and breast cancer surgery, usually for about five years. Lead author Professor Lynn Wagner and Associates conducted a study involving 700 female patients who were on aromatase inhibitor regimens. After four years, 36% of them had fallen out of treatment because the side effects associated with the drug were so intolerable. One in every 10 patients abandoned treatment within 24 months. The extremely unpleasant side effects that prompted the women to stop their medication regimen included a drop in libido, weight gain, hot flashes, and severe joint pain. Those who had already undergone radiation therapy or chemotherapy were found to be more likely to stop taking the medication. The researchers also discovered that what doctors perceived as side effects associated with the drugs were very different when compared to how patients described their experiences. When previous studies asked doctors about side effects associated with aromatase inhibitors, they claimed only 5% of patients reported moderate to severe side effects. This data is in stark contrast to the 36% of patients who dropped out of treatment in this latest study. Wagner concludes, Now we're appreciating that there's a significant gap between patient-reported symptoms and provider-reported symptoms. That gap widens when we're talking about more subjective symptoms, things like pain or fatigue that only a patient can report. This group of people did a survey of hundreds of breast cancer patients taking this drug and they found about 30% or even more, 36% of them actually stopped taking it if you look at them over a five years period. And that's a surprisingly high number. I suspect there are several reasons to explain that. One is while you're doing a clinical trial, patients underreport the side effects uh, because they may have some minor side effects they just don't report to you so you feel like they don't have as many side effects. The other one is the population they're surveying, they, they studied, maybe a different population, uh, may not represent the general public, so you see a higher number. A third possibility is some of the side effects patients are experiencing that make them drop off these drugs may not sound so important to the doctors, but it is important to the patients, so they stopped. 